All right, guys, we're doing Jump by Van Halen today. Um, really cool synthesizer uh, song to play. Uh, but you can also do it with a piano sound. So I'm going to have the piano sound on here. But if you have a keyboard with a synthesizer, go ahead and switch to that synth sound, uh, fat synth sound, and it should uh, sound pretty good for you. Anyway, here we go. sounds good on, on piano too if you play it correctly. Um, hello everyone, I'm Sean Cheek and welcome to my easy piano lessons. I have a website called webpianoteacher.com. You can find my complete video lesson library on there, uh, so check that out. <clears throat> and as always, here's your free part one. We start out <clears throat> just holding this left hand C octave. Okay, now the synth sound, if you're using a keyboard, uh, <clears throat> will hold that note and it'll last through. If you're playing on piano, it'll start to die away immediately. So you might want to play it again uh, occasionally just so the, the note keeps going. But we're going to start out with just a C octave here. Here's middle C, so I'm on this C and this C. I'm going to play it just hold it down. And I'm going to start with right hand up here. G, B, D. Here's middle C, so I'm above middle C with a G major chord. All right, then I'm going to keep the G on my thumb, and I'm going to change the top two notes to C and E. All right, so I get a C chord there in a uh, second inversion. So G, B, D to C, E, G. We're going to play it short. Then I'm going to have F, A, C together. Then I'm going to play F, F A, C again. And then I'm going to go back to G, B, D, what I started with. Then I'm going to play G, B, D again. So you see, the chords aren't what's hard about this. What's difficult is the rhythm, doing the correct rhythm and uh, articulation in the right hand. <clears throat> but uh, let's continue. We have G, C, E, just like we had here. Now, sometimes I hear the keyboard part do F, A, C here. Sometimes I hear it go ahead and go down to C, F, A and play that, that and play that again. So I'll leave that up to you which way you want to do it. But uh, just for our purposes here, I'm going to play F, A, C. <clears throat> And CFA. What I mean by that, by that in the song, you know, it plays it many, many times. Um, sometimes I hear it as an FAC, and then sometimes I hear uh, the CFA here, and then another CFA. So either way, okay, it's the same chord, so it doesn't make too much difference. FAC, and then CFA, and then CEG, and then here we're going to have what's called a suspended chord. It's never resolved, but we have C, D, G together. Hold that out. All right, now let's go back and look at the rhythm a little bit. Okay, so you just listen to the recording and you can tell. Yep. <clears throat> now, here what we did we played a C octave there, uh, and then right here we're going to go to an F octave. All right, when I play that C, E, G, if you isolate that and play it all by itself, you might think, oh, that doesn't quite sound right. What's wrong with that? But it'll be correct <clears throat> because some things need to go up to speed to sound like uh, you want them to. But the C, E, G with the F octave is correct. And then we'll have the C, D, G with the G octave on the left hand. Now, you're probably wondering what all these little vertical lines are, well that's when you're repeating because you hear the bass guitar going do 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 um, and that's what I'm putting in there so that you can can match up when the left hand is playing with the right hand. But the left hand bum, 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 just play that C octave over and over again. You can even go you can alternate between the pinky and the thumb if you want if you're that advanced. Um, if you're just beginning I would just recommend playing the whole octave every time. Okay? Now, so if we take it apart <clears throat> and look at it piece by piece, we have left hand beginning, and this is after you play through it once, um, and then the bass comes in. Okay, of course, the very first time you're just holding. And then. Okay, so this is how you do this part. You play the C octave, then we're going to play it again all by itself. 
keep in mind, the left hand is just a steady bop, 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 bop. So that's your guide. That's your, your uh, conductor there. So C octave, you play it again here. Play it again with that chord. And then play it two times without. And then together here. And then left, left. And then together here. And then left, left. Together. One, one time on the left hand. And then together here. And then left. And then one time here. And then left, left. And then together, left, left, together, just the left, together, and then just left, and then together, or go to F octave, sorry. And then one, stay on that F octave, so play that F octave one time by itself, and then together here with the G octave, and then one, two, three, four more G octaves on the left hand. Now when you practice it, you want to go slowly. slowly like that because <laughs> I don't get to, to feel it uh, but anyway that's what I would do I would take it apart and then play it piece by piece and then let it get fast on its own don't try to force it to go fast now let's look at one more thing let's look at uh, length of the notes uh, you want to play this one short this one is longer, so let's hold that one out a little bit, and then this one is short, so you kind of connect this one to that one, so, see that, and then, and these are longer here, okay, so connect those a little more, so. the song on my website on webpianofuture.com. Yes, I even do the middle part where the keyboard is doing the, the uh, all that stuff. You'll find it's really easy. It's just chord patterns and I'll show you how to play that in the other parts on webpianofuture.com. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll talk to you later.